hello students now i will explain about the vi characteristic of diode so a diode you can see uh, this is a symbol of diode this anode and this cathode and if we connect this diode like this anode is connected to positive of battery while cathode is connected to negative such type of alignment is called as forward bias forward bias connection in this type of connection the diode uh, it allows current to pass through it once the voltage rises above 0.7 volts in silicon type of diode and 0.3 volt in germanium type of diode these are barrier potentials barrier voltage so if we increase the voltage of battery above 0.7 volt then the current will start flowing in this circuit but before 0.7 volt only a leakage current can flow and we can neglect that flow of current so if i draw this voltage versus current characteristic it will be like this this is vertical axis this is horizontal uh, horizontal axis uh, on horizontal axis uh, we have to write voltage because it is independent variable and on vertical axis we have to write current because it is dependent on voltage so independent variables are generally drawn on x axis and dependent variables are drawn on y axis so if i increase the voltage from 0 onwards so if a voltage 0.1 will reach then you can find that there is very little current it is in micro amperes so if you increase the voltage from 0 onwards 0 0.1 0 0.2 3 4 pi u 0 0.5 you can see the current like this and this current will start increasing exponentially like this and at 0 0.7 there will be sudden rise in current and the sudden rise in current will be due to the overcoming of this voltage 0 0.7 this potential barrier once we increase the voltage above 0 0.7 there the diode will show negligible resistance to the current so with the increase in very little voltage from 0 0.7 to 0 0.71 there will be large increase in current so such type of characteristic we can get in forward bias condition generally this region is assumed as a linear region but in fact the whole characteristic is exponential whole characteristic is exponential exponential and but this portion is slightly linear so we can we can assume this portion as linear and if you continue a straight line here downward this the point where it crosses it is called as knee voltage uh, if we in, if we continue this vertical line if we continue this slope and where it is where it touches the horizontal axis this voltage is known as knee voltage generally it is approximately 0.6 to 0.8 it is it between it is between 0 0.6 to 0.7 volts this voltage is known as knee, knee voltage now if you want to draw if you want to get a resistance in forward bias condition we can get the resistance between uh, these two points we can get the resistance in this linear region and the resistance we can get there are two types one is dynamic resistance another is static resistance static resistance is the resistance uh, that comes out from a single voltage and single current value if we take up any point between these uh, two points means if we take any point between uh, within this straight line and if i draw a perpendicular on x axis and perpendicular on y axis we will get some voltage here like v s static voltage and i a static current and the ratio of static voltage upon static current will give you static resistance this is the way we can get the static resistance for dynamic we have to mark two points 
consider this as the first point this is the second point if I draw a perpendicular on here and a perpendicular on y axis I can get the difference between these two voltage uh, these two currents this is current I1 this current I2 and the difference between these two is del I del I is I2 minus I1 similarly we can get two voltages here the first will be voltage V1 second will be voltage V2 and the difference is del V which is actually V2 minus V1 so dynamic resistance is actually the ratio of delta V upon delta I if I expand this as V2 minus V1 upon I2 minus I1 there, there is another way to find dynamic resistance if I get the slope of slope of this line the slope M it is calculated as Y2 <coughs> calculate as y2 <coughs> minus y1 upon x2 minus x1 and on y axis we have current so it will be it will be i2 minus i1 upon v2 minus v1 on x axis we have voltage and y axis we have current so it will be i2 minus i1 upon v2 minus v1 and this will become delta i upon delta V and we know that the resistance is given as R equals to V by I and it is inverse of that so we can write 1 upon R as the value of this del I upon del V because del V upon del I is resistance so del I upon del V is 1 upon resistance and because we are calculating this resistance by taking two voltages and two currents so it will be dynamic resistance so by this method we can calculate dynamic resistance or by this method also so this is the forward bias of VI characteristic if you want to study about the reverse bias consider this circuit this is a symbol of diode and if I connect a negative of battery to the anode and positive to the cathode this cathode is anode <coughs> will the circuit the arrangement will be known as reverse bias circuit in this type of uh, arrangement the uh, the junction width it increases with the increase in voltage if I increase the voltage V then let this be voltage VR if I increase the voltage the width of depletion region it also increases this can be understand by looking here this is the silicon chip and this is P type region, this is N type region now this is diode if I connect negative of battery in P on P side and positive on N side the circuit will be reverse bias, the diode will be reverse bias so in this type of arrangement the, the width of depletion region, this is the width of depletion region W, D uh, this depletion region is actually vacated from the free charge carriers there will not be any free charge carrier in this depletion region I already explained this uh, vacancy of free charge carriers in this depletion region in previous video so this region is known as depletion region and there will not be any free charge carrier in this region so if I increase the voltage reverse voltage VR the positive of battery will create positive potential here and this positive potential will attract the negative free electrons and these electrons will move towards the battery and this will uh, this will make a free region here this will start creating a free region here and this region will also be considered as this region this region is actually uh, vacated of free charge carrier because of recombination at the time of creation of diode but this region is created because of the voltage applied voltage because this voltage the positive potential of this voltage has attracted the electrons towards the battery and thereby the this region has vacated of free charge carriers free electrons similarly the negative has attracted the holes uh, towards itself and this region 
are here in this B side region is also vacated of free charge carriers. So I can, we can see that the width has increased because the holes they get disappear when the electrons get recombined with it. The negative battery pushes the electrons and which removes the electron which removes the holes from here. Yes. The electron recombines the holes present in this region and thereby the holes they, they try to move towards the negative means the electrons are entering the region and the holes are moving towards the negative of battery this creates a free region near in the vicinity of the depletion region so this increases the width of depletion region actually this much area is created this much area is developed because of the applied voltage if I increase the voltage further the width again increases so the increase in width actually increases the potential barrier initially the potential barrier was less because the depletion width was less but now with the increase in reverse voltage with the increase in reverse voltage the depletion width has increased and because of the depletion width increase in depletion width the potential barrier between these two ends of the depletion region the potential barrier did that also increased if i write potential barriers p is also increased and the barrier is nothing but a voltage that is required to be applied to cross that means uh, the, the potential barrier is the voltage across the junction and if you want the current to pass through the diode we need to apply a voltage greater than the potential barrier but what is happening here i am increasing the voltage but this voltage simultaneously increases the potential barrier so we are not able to pass the current through the diode normally the positive battery passes flows the current in the, this way means the current should flow anti clockwise in the circuit but with the increase in voltage the potential barrier means the difference between these two voltage the difference between voltage across the depletion region this is also increasing so crossing that potential barrier is becoming difficult so if i again increase the voltage the potential barrier again increases so if we if we, uh, we can see that uh, we can see this uh, nature in third quadrant this will be the reverse voltage and this will be the reverse current if i increase the voltage the current will not increase but in practical condition there are free electrons and holes because of the thermal agitation because of room temperature some electrons come out of the uh, uh, come out come out of the their bonds and the atoms and they become free because of the temperature because of only temperature some electrons and some holes are present here but in uh, ideal condition we assume that there are no electrons and holes but practically there are few electrons and holes present here and with the applied, applied voltage they move across the diode but they are very negligible we can neglect them so if i want if i want to draw the current i can draw like this with the increase in voltage for example this 5 volt the current will be around 5 micro ampere these are this is a very less current we can neglect that current 5 micro ampere if i increase the voltage further the current will slightly increase to around 7 micro ampere if i increase the voltage again the current remains constant approximately constant so i can write this as reverse saturation current io this will be with, because with the increase in voltage now current is not increasing so the current gets saturated so i can write this as i or reverse saturation current but after some time we will get a voltage vbr we will get some voltage around 100 or 150 volts to in a particular diode at that voltage because of very large voltage and the potential barrier because there are some limitations of this increase because of the size of diode this is there is a limitation of width but when we apply very large voltage the depletion width is small as compared to that voltage now the, uh, because of lar large voltage the flow of this leakage current because uh, the flow of leakage current becomes very fast and that will damage 
the depletion region and this is nothing but a breakdown of that depletion region and the depletion region becomes this uh, become uh, they will this uh, depletion region will disappear slightly with the increase in voltage if i increase the voltage like this at uh, near in the vicinity of breakdown voltage the depletion region will break down and current will start increasing like this and by after crossing the breakdown voltage the current will increase rapidly because there is uh, there no uh, because in this circuit we don't have any resistance to control the flow of current the current will increase very rapidly and this can damage the diode because at a voltage of around 100 volt or 75 volt or around 150 volt if there is no resistance in the circuit we can imagine the flow of current it will be very high and at that high volt high flow of current uh, there will be some losses like i square r and this will disappear this will dissipate in the form of heat and in the small region of diode if such large heat produces that will heat the diode and that will damage the diode so the breakdown in such high voltage will damage the diode so normally the voltage we apply in practical applications is around 12 volt of 30 volt 12 to 30 or 50 volts that will not go till breakdown voltage so when we increase the voltage till 50 volt and we will decrease the uh, like sinusoidal voltage that will not damage the diode but if you increase the voltage continuously then we will definitely reach a point where the depletion region break down, breaks down and at that point a very large current flows because of because of absence of uh, resistance in the circuit but if you want to control the current to avoid damage of doubt we can apply a resistance here in series to control the flow of current and if we control the flow of current then definitely we will re reduce the i square loss and heat and simultaneously we can protect the diode this is around this is about reverse characteristic of diode so i think we got about the forward characteristic this is the forward characteristic of diode in this uh, we when we reach the voltage knee voltage we get a sudden rise in current and this is nothing but a barrier potential 0 0.0 to 0 0.7 this is the put difference would put potential difference this is nothing but barrier potential when we cross the barrier potential we'll get sudden increase in current and in this reverse bias we get a breakdown voltage and at breakdown voltage the junction breaks down and because of that there is a large flow of current so i think this is this is sufficient about this topic thanks for watching